so in this project we are going to implement a motion of simple pendulum so as we know the pendulum setup consists of a string of length l in which a ball is attached so after placing it to some angle theta and we release a ball the ball will swing forward and backward direction with a specific angle theta so in this particular project we are going to implement this particular system by making use of analytical equation and we plot a angle theta by which this pendulum swings so as you can see over here we have given a problem in which we have to consider a motion of simple pendulum which we want to derive by making use of a specific model and theta t is the angle made with a vertical at time t so theta t is a variable present over here which is dependent on time so as the pendulum moves the value of theta will get changes and its its upper limit is theta which is the initial position uh, by which the pendulum or the ball is released okay and also it is given over here the initial value is pi by 4 and the theta prime 0 is equals to 0 so theta prime 0 representing a uh, initial velocity so at a instant when the ball is when the ball is holded in over angle theta at that particular instance the angular velocity is zero so we have this particular analytical expression representing this model of a simple pendulum so in this particular model we have a equation in which we have theta double prime t which is representing d squared theta by dt square plus g by l sine theta t equals to zero in which g is nothing but a acceleration due to gravity whose value is 9.8 meter per second square and the length given is 0 0.5 meter so now we are going to implement this particular equation in a psi cost and then we analyze the result so this is a setup which we are going to draw in a psi cost so as you can see over here theta double prime t equals to minus g by l sine theta t so we have suppose we have this particular point so we are considering this particular point and based on this particular point we are developing this specific model so when we place theta t in this trigonometric function so the output we got is sine of theta t and then we have a a gain multiplier over here in this particular gain multiplier the value is nothing but a minus 9.81 divided by l so i have written over here one which is representing the length of a string is one meter in the problem which we have discussed the length of a string given is 0 0.5 meter so so the gain we have considered is minus 9.81 divided by one so the output of this particular is nothing but a theta double prime t okay so as we know that the theta double prime t representing d square theta by dt then if we integrate that particular d square theta by dt we get a output as d theta by dt so for representing a integral or to perform an integration operation we are using a 1 by s block so in frequency domain as we are very well known for calculation of uh, integration in frequency domain we require this particular block 1 by s after the calculation of d theta by dt we again provide one integral block over here that perform integration and gives output theta t okay so we have we have got this particular output theta t which we have passed again to one more block which is converting this particular theta uh, from radians to a degree and then we analyze a output in a c scope block so as i have already told you in a previous sessions that this is nothing but a event driven clock okay that is used for getting a output from this particular c scope block okay so this is a simple schematic which we are going to design by making use of psycho so this is my psychos window in which it is a palette browser and this is an editor window so i am simply dragging the required blocks so first we require a 
gain block so i have dragged two gain blocks over here and i am rotating okay so next i require a trigonometric function so it will be in this a mathematical operation so uh, i am going to find a sine function so we have this particular sine block over here and okay so next we require a integral function which we which i found in the continuous time system and you can see over here the block representing integral of f so i have simply dragging and dropping the two blocks over here which is representing a integral operation and i simply connect all those both of these particular blocks okay so this is the simple schematic we have drawn next we are going to see the output in a c scope block that i will find in a sink so this is the initial setup i have made okay so now this particular setup is looking very nasty so what i am doing i am simply clicking on the screen and select all the components okay then i click on a format and migrate to a link style and then click on a optimal so that you can see now our block diagram is looking very neat and tidy now we are going to <coughs> check the parameters okay as we are very well known that the output of this particular block is theta t okay which is provided in sine and then i have multiplied with this particular gain block so in this particular gain block we have minus 9.81 divided by 0.5 meter in our problem it is given length is 0.5 meter okay so the gain i have adjusted is a minus 9.81 divided by length l which is 0.5 meters given in a problem and that particular gain is multiplied with this particular sine block which is provided to integral so the output we got is d theta by dt okay so here we have output d theta by dt and the in that output i have again applied to integral to get output theta t and next we have a conversion from radians to a degree so i can simply convert radians to degree by multiplying with a 180 divided by pi so 180 divided by percent pi so in scilab we have already discussed pi is written as percent pi and now we are checking a output of a c scope block before that i am applying a i am making some modifications in a clock cycle so the period is 0.1 okay so this is presenting a sampling period since the processor is digital we require to sample a output that that we can uh, see in our computer screen and the initialization time given is 0.1 which i am making it to 0 okay next we have a output so in the output y minimum is minus 15 and y max is 15 okay which i am not modifying so let me run this particular setup then we will make some arrangements suppose if i am running uh, this particular simulation 
in the output window we get nothing okay so the output is zero at this time so this zero is occurring because we have not provided a initial condition in the problem definition as we have already seen that it is given theta zero is pi by four so the initially the angle theta is pi by four then we drop the ball at this particular angle pi by four and which is continuously swing with this particular angle okay so here also we have to make this particular modification so what i am doing we get the output over here theta t okay so i am simply clicking on this particular position and so i am providing a initial condition which is 45 degrees okay so i am converting it to 45 into percent pi divided by 180 so i am converting 45 degrees into a radians okay so i have provided a initial condition now if i run a simulation let's see what so we have got the output but the output is again not looking clean because the y limit is minus 15 to 15 and we know very well that the output we got is from minus 45 to 45 okay so i have to modify it to minus 50 to 50 okay and if i run a simulation you can see we get a very nice and clear curve representing a theta t so this particular curve is for getting a output theta t suppose if i want to plot a angular velocity okay so for getting a angular velocity what we have to do we have to get a output from this particular position okay so let me delete this particular link and in place of this link i am providing one multiplexer so i am simply writing max and we can see we have got this particular multiplexer and provided a output uh, we are providing a input to this particular multiplexer so that simultaneously in one single oscilloscope we get a output okay so i have simply make a connection with this particular marks okay now if i run a simulation we can see we have these two plots okay so one plot with a green curve is representing a angle theta and the curve which is representing this particular black line is representing a angular velocity d theta by dt so by this way we can simply simulate a system so this is a simple example which i have demonstrated that we can easily implement by making use of xcos